What's up, YouTube? I went down the pub and said, Fat bastard, do you sell shorts? He said, Yes. I said, Good, I've shat these. What's up, YouTube? That's good. So, uh, this is Bernard Manning. Uh, I'm not going to say much. I'll get lots of views because it's Bernard Manning. So, mm -hmm. we thought we'd try and get back to some good old fashioned, wholesome family entertainment. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Nice to be with you. This fellow walked in a sex shop, he said. I'll be getting those blow-up dolls. He said, oh, we've only got black ones left. He said, well, I'm not racial prejudice. Give us one of those. Got it all, blew it up, and it mugged him. <laughs> fellow went to the doctors. He said, I feel a bit under the weather. He said, I'll give you a thorough examination. He said, you've got VD. You must have got it out of a lavatory seat. He said, you must have chewed it. It's in your gums. <laughs> A nice clean story, just for a change. When I went to the dentist, he said, how much? Your full dental job all out the lot. I said, very expensive, that, he said. Doctor in attendance, anaesthetist, no pain, no blood, 500 pounds. He said, too dear, that. He said, we've got a cheaper job, he said. No doctor in attendance, anaesthetist, no pain, no blood, 250 pounds. He said, listen, pal, what's the rock bottom? Real rock bottom. Ooh, he said, it's bleeding cruel, that, he said. No doctor in attendance, no anaesthetist, plenty of pain, loads of blood, 15 quid. That's the one, he said. Book the wife in for 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> How nice. Nice to see you all laughing. If you ever get downhearted or depressed, and we all do from time to time, you get a bit sick of it. If you ever get very low, remember the words of this very famous man who'd been there. It's easy enough to be pleasant when the world rolls along like a song, but a man's worthwhile if he can smile when everything's going wrong. Adolf Hitler, 1945. <laughs> Sick to death he was. <laughs> you Japanese never laugh, do you? <laughs> We've not forgot Pearl Harbor, don't you worry, pal. <laughs> what a shit house trick that was. <laughs> Sat there, can't wait to go home, Megan the Datsun. <laughs> you look a nice young fella, go and piss on that job. <laughs> There's two Jews walking through Glasgow. Two Jews walking through Glasgow, and a big gang of these skinheads can walk into autumn. He said, Look at these bastards here, Morris, you're going to get mugged here. He said, I think we are. He said, I'm sure we are. Anyway, he said, here's a hundred quid he owe you. There's a blind fellow walking through Birmingham with his guide dog, and the guide dog slashed up his leg. And give it a dog biscuit. And the fellow dashed up, he said, that's the nicest thing I've ever seen in my life. He said, that dog just pissed up your leg, he said. And you give it a dog biscuit. He said, yes, I'm just finding out where his mouth is. He's going to get a kick in the ball. How <laughs> <laughs> lovely. It's all right laughing, Lenny Henry. It's all right for you black people. You can't walk home when you're on at night. <laughs> But it's lovely to be with you, telling some nice clean stories. I know a few more clean ones. This tramp knocked at this door. Fella come to the door, she says, what do you want? He said, have we got a piece of cake? He said, you're a cheeky bastard, asking for cake. He said, yes, it's my birthday. He said, I'm an old soldier. He said, have you been to the front? He says, yes, but I couldn't get any answer. Big oil fire in Saudi Arabia, they sent for Red Adair, they said, Mr Adair, can you get over here and put this fire out? He said, well, I'm very busy at the present time, he says. Get on to Dublin, get all the Green Adair. He's just starting up. So they phoned this Green Adair, they said, can you get over here and put this fire out? He said, I want £30,000 in my hand, he said. Be over in 20 minutes. Special decoder. He said, you're on. Landed 50 yards from the fire, big door come out, fire engine come out, 150 mile an hour, straight in the fire. Put the fire out. He's jumping about all his big and of things and he said, Jesus. They said, that's marvellous. Huh? Wonderful how you did that. He said, there's your 30 grand. What are you going to do with the money? He said, what am I going to do? He said, get some bleeding brakes on that fire engine. 
Irish Working Men's Club went on a mystery tour and they had a sweep to guess where they was going and the driver won 53 quid. <laughs> this fellow's giving this bird once, he said, you've only got a small organ, haven't you? He said, yes, but it's never played in a cathedral before. <laughs> So, uh, there, yes. Mr. Manning, thank you. Offensive, uh, shocking, good, well done. Uh, I mean, the last joke about the organ in the cathedral is is really just the sort of thing Jimmy Carr says. Uh, so it's not really that shocking. There's some nice uh, racial stuff there. Well done. Uh, you know, hating people of other... Uh, uh other cultures uh so uh well done bernard manning i don't know it's he is funny uh and if you like it that's fine don't nobody go nowhere